So in this video, we're going to talk about the geometric mean that's created um, by an altitude in a right triangle. So the right triangle altitude theorem or geometric theorem is a result in elementary geometry that describes a relationship between the altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle that forms two triangles that are similar to each other and to the original triangle. So it kind of creates three triangles when we create this altitude. So you can see we create this little left triangle, this little right triangle, and then we have the entire triangle, right? So all three triangles are actually similar to each other. Um, so we also have the leg um, geometric mean theorem or the leg rule. Um, each leg of the triangle is the mean proportional between the hypotenuse and the part of the hypotenuse directly below the leg. Um, so we can see here we have altitude over the left side. So we have altitude over the left side. We have um, the right side over the altitude. And this is what's meant by geometric mean when we have the same piece that is the numerator and the denominator in the proportion. Okay, so what this looks like if I cross multiply, I'd have altitude squared equals the left times the right. So I can very quickly find one of these missing pieces. If I don't have the altitude or I don't have the left side or I don't have the right side. So I need two of the three pieces in order to use this theorem. So let's go ahead and look at what the leg theorem actually looks like. So we can see it again here. Um, so the leg theorem shows us slightly different for our geometric mean. So now instead of the altitude being the geometric mean, although it's still present, I still need it, so it splits it in this part one and part two. But now you can see that I have what's called the hypotenuse, the whole piece across from the original 90. Now the altitude itself creates a 90, but I'm talking about the original 90 degree angle. So we have the hypotenuse over leg one, um, and then leg one over part one that's created here. So now it's the leg one that's the geometric mean because it's the one that's repeated in the numerator and the denominator, okay? It's the one that would be squared equal to the other two parts multiplied together. Um, or we can do the same thing with the other side, which we call leg two and part two. So it's still the hypotenuse, but now it's over leg two. And since it was over leg two, we're gonna divide that part by part two, okay? So we're just dividing it up into two different types of pieces. So we can either use the altitude as a geometric mean or leg one or leg two. Kind of just depends on the information that's given to us. So a couple of different choices here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so with this one in the figure below, find the exact value of y. So on this one, you can see I have y, I have this five and I have nine and I have an altitude coming down. And I know it's an altitude because it's coming, you know, straight from the vertex and it's uh, 90 degrees. So I know that's an altitude. So in this case, I have the hypotenuse. Remember, I'm looking at the original 90, and 9 is that, that whole length across. That's called my hypotenuse. This, if I was thinking about those two triangles that we just did, I had part 1 and part 2. Well, this would be part 2, and this would be part 1. So this would be leg 2, and this would be leg 1. So if we go through and we label, here's my hypotenuse. And then I have part 1 and part 2, and then I have leg 2 and leg 1. Now you can see I kind of, I labeled these, but just so that we can see them, but really the information I have is part two and leg two. So let's go ahead and use our um, proportion that we can set up here using leg two and part two. So I have my hypotenuse over leg two, which is y, equals leg two over my part two, which I know is five. So now I'm going to cross multiply. I have y times, sorry, nine times five and y times y. So I get 45 equals y squared. And I don't want to know what y squared is, right? So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. But remember, it said, do not approximate your answers. What that means, and it also says exact value, that means it doesn't want us to give a decimal answer. Now, right off the bat, I know that 45 is not a square. So I can't actually take the square root of 45. So I can leave it under the square root. Um, it's not technically in simplest form because I can take at least the square root of nine out of there. So I could have three square root five, because I can take the square root of nine, I just can't take the square root of five, right? So 
Alex should accept it either way because it's not um, demanding that this be in simplest form. Um, but you can simplify this just a little bit farther if you want to. Uh, so that is using uh, the geometric mean of an altitude in a right triangle to find some missing lengths. I hope that helped and I will see you in the next video.